Hello, everyone. I have a, a special guest. Uh, sometimes I do videos on a lot of different topics. Today, we're going to do one on a really amazing success story from Bart Ratliff. And so um, this guy, I saw he sent a video and it just literally blew me away. In five months, he lost 90 pounds. Okay, 90 pounds. It's incredible. So welcome, Bart. Thanks for, for being on. Dr. Bart, thank you so much. It's, a, it's a, an honor to be uh, speaking to you, number one, just because of all the wonderful education you've given me over the last uh, six months and uh, the results is produced. Wow. Well, it's, it's quite impressive. I mean, I know some people might be watching and they might, they pro they've, maybe they lost less and they might be a little bit more frustrated, but you know what? Um, I, I want to cover some of the things that you did and some of the barriers that you ran into because people always want to now, like, okay, what did he do? So let's first talk a little bit about um, what type of pattern of fasting did you do? Did you do, you know, 16 hours, 18 hours? What type of fasting did you do? Well, Dr. Berg, uh, the, way, the way I jumped in, and this started on May 23rd of 22, I, I started at one meal a day. And uh, uh, through the education, through your videos, I knew how effective that would be for me. And to say the least, my first couple of days, you know, it's a transition. And of course, had the, had the headaches the first day or two. But I knew that I look, I was 100% committed and devoted because I knew this would work for me. And uh, I kind of just uh, kind of held fast and stayed the course. And because I, I knew it would, it would, I would no longer have that. So one meal a day, one meal a day. Uh, on the ketogenic diet. Ketogenic That's good. Diet. I think um, you did mention this before, and I want to bring this up. I mean, you tried this a while ago, but at that time, there was some stress involved, you know, and I always bring this up, like, um, when you have family or spouses that maybe are not on the same page, it's more difficult. I mean, it's crazy more difficult because like, uh, kind of create, you know, when you're going to eat and then you got to be in front of the food or it's just a lot of disagreements. So I think you did have a situation that through you, basically you started it a long time ago and then it worked, but then you got off because of that for a period of time. So maybe you can just touch on that. Too bad, too bad. A couple of years ago, I did have some success. Uh, I was actually referred to a, a one meal a day by a, a friend of mine, uh, Everett, uh, out of Salt Lake City. And I said, one meal a day? Are you nuts? You know, and then I did some research on it. I, I kept on hearing about this Omad. I thought it was Omad. I said, this must be some guy that created this plan. You know, I said, oh, one meal a day. It makes sense. Yeah. Right. So, uh, but yes, we were, uh, uh, my significant other at the time, we, we started it and we had uh, success and we were, uh, luckily I was, I found you on through YouTube on the ketogenic, you know, to include that with the one meal a day and then helped us stay focused. And then after several months, you know, then there were some other ideas shared and uh, sometimes the uh, uh, negativity and the environment that you're in, um, Sometimes it defocuses you on your ultimate goal, even though you've seen how effective it is. And I let um, my, um, um, I just, we just kind of got off track and I kind of got off track, even though it was working very well for me. But when you have other influences in your life at the time, it, it definitely can deter somebody. And, and I was thinking more about somebody else than myself. And that's, that's kind of what happened, but mm -hmm. luckily, I found my way back. So, so about a couple of years later, you picked it back up, and then you, you were at um, your peak weight was like three hundred and thirteen pounds, right? Well, that's when I was started. No, my peak weight I was oh. I was three thirty five when I started a couple of years oh, ago, wow. and uh, and but luckily I didn't gain it all back, and I was sitting at three thirteen when I started back in May at the end of May. So, um, question: When you were in um, high school, were you were you a thin guy um, gr growing up in twenties? I always, <clears throat> I was always a big guy. And uh, oh. growing up in high school, I think I was just thinking about this the other day. I was talking to a friend of mine that's also been inspired by my story. And even in high school, I think my junior year I was two sixty. And, um, and then because I wasn't even, I, I, I ended up going going to six four. I think it was my sophomore year in college, but I was only like six two when I graduated. But I was two sixty. Then I came down to two thirty. I was, 
you know, back and forth, a lot of pressure on uh, my health and uh, my always on diets. Oh, you know, really? Years, I, you know, so I went through the yo-yo string over the years. But um, <clears throat> so that, that yeah, I was a big guy in high school. And then I kind of slimmed down. And then when college happened, you know, back in the 80s, so, you know, I, I was having a good time. And I was certainly not focused then on my health and nutrition back then, to say the least, as it's been like that for many, many years. But, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I uh, I was uh, I think the highest I was in uh, in high school, even in junior high when I was a I was bigger. I always played football, but uh, 260 was uh, usually 260, and then I I would go down and then like come back up. And mm -hmm. so so a couple of years ago when you decided uh, before you even started looking and discovered like oh keto, um, was there something that motivated you that said you know what I need to do this. Uh, actually, my uh, significant other, uh, she had an event coming up and we decided uh, she was starting to uh, uh, to eat better and, and do some working out. And then, I, of course, I wanted to support my wife. And uh, so I joined along with her. And then I, as I was doing some research 20 years, 20 years previous. I had done uh, read a book called Body for Life by Bill Phillips. And of course, his philosophy, I really love his philosophy on the strength training and the cardio, doing the high intensity uh, hit, hit training, which I really love. Uh, but he was more of a six mil a guy, uh, six mil a day guy. And that's what my mindset has been all these years up until a couple of years ago. And um, but that was one of the reasons we started it. And then uh, there was a guy that was featured in that Body for Life book, Everett, happened to live in Salt Lake. And we got together. He told me about the one meal a day. And then uh, we started doing that. Then a couple of weeks later, we got back together and I said, well, I'm kind of tired all the time. I said, we ought to do more fat. He ought to, you know, find out, you know, do keto. And that's how actually I found you, Dr. Burke. Wow. Um, and then as far as um, the meals that you ate during this process, um, did you... Did you do it exactly like the book or did you kind of have some times where you fell off the wagon like a, you know, and like what kind of uh, discipline did you have as you gone gone through this to keep your car? You know, for my current journey, are you talking about for my current journey? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, you know what? I, I, I focus in on my meals. <clears throat> One of the things I always try to focus in on are, as you say, especially on my protein, I will do a grass-fed, uh, uh, grass-fed, grass-finished uh, hamburger. I mean, hamburger's probably 70% uh, of my meals. So I'll do, basically, I'll buy the pound of the grass-fed, uh, grass-finished beef. I'll cut it in half. I'll do eight ounces one day. And then uh, I'll do that two to three, usually three to four days a week. And then I'll mix in some salmon, some wild caught salmon, and then some eggs. And then maybe one day, uh, once every couple of weeks, I'll throw in eggs as my protein. And then, of course, I always do my big salad. And it's kind of funny, over the last six months, I mentioned this in that video I sent you, but I... I kind of start my day watching one of your videos. I love how you, you five to six days a week, you always update a new video. So a lot of times I'll run through and kind of see the videos that I might not have seen, or it's been a while since I've seen. But one of the things I remember when I started, I was all spinach. I said, you know, Popeye, eat your spinach, you know? And then I started seeing, you know, the benefits of the lettuce and of the arugula. And I said, arugula, I never thought about that. And I, but now it's, 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 I always kind of a more of a plan day review. I'm a consultant and a strategist when it comes to marketing and technology. So I'm always big about that with, uh, with the projects I'm working on. So I started really kind of uh, focusing in on that. So now that's uh, one of the ways I um, start my, start my meals. Now I do my big salad and uh, you know, you say five to seven cups. I had this massive bowl and it, it, I figured about seven ounces, I get the containers with the organic arugula and the organic leafy greens. And uh, so I just chop everything up. I, I usually try to find uh, like a nice red pepper or something like that. And then I, I fill up this big bowl. It's usually about seven ounces. I have no idea how many cups it is, but I know it's a massive salad. And um, at first I was doing like the blue cheese. And then the more I, saw your videos and I start, oh, wait a minute. 
you know, how about the organic, uh, the organic extra virgin olive oil? So I started buying that. And then I just recently saw the video of the, of the olive, olive oil that you use. So I finally said, well, I need to upgrade my extra virgin olive oil. So I just, I actually ordered some. Luckily, I found it on Amazon, the exact type that you use. Same with the, uh, with the, uh, uh, the um, um, apple cider vinegar. So I was doing the, I think it was the Braggs. And then you had, had a video about the Braggs and, uh, and the other the other, I can't remember the name of it, but I have it in my cabinet right now. So I upgraded that. It's amazing the strength of that apple cider vinegar, how much stronger that it is than, than the ones that, that I was using, the mother's brag. And then I went to the one that you recommended. It's, it's like twice as strong. So, so what I'll do, I'll add a little organic uh, lemon juice in that as well to kind of help out, help out with that. So, oh yeah, I tell you, it's, uh, you know, um, you find all sorts of interesting things. I actually went to this farm where they make this olive oil twice. And uh, I'm, I was just like, come on, you got to be kidding. You, you guys put that much care, that much energy into producing this. I'm like, all right, um, you sold me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this. So I, 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 when I find something like that, I'm, I'm going to tell people about it because it's so, so um, healthy on many different levels. So I mean, even if you don't put on your salad, you should probably drink a couple teaspoons a day or tablespoons just because it's like great. But um, so you sounds like you're kind of just, you know, you're just kind of doing what someone else you're piggybacking off of someone else's success story, which or success, successful actions, which which I'm doing because I experiment with everything, all sorts of therapies. I have three different therapies I haven't even told anyone about. I'm actually doing on myself actually more than that. And if it works, I will let you know. <laughs> Well, but, we're um, very excited to hear that, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, um, so this is really good. And then, um, what about? Do you have um, any problem like social events, parties, things like that, uh, that you kind of go off the program a little bit here and there, or, or do you just have any way of pushing through that? What do you have that? Right now, I, I do. I'm very well aware. Uh, Usually once a month, I'll, I'll, I'll have to do a business trip, and a lot of a lot of times, I mean, I was just in Miami back in uh, back in September, and uh, um, happened to be my birthday week as well, so I was uh, hanging out. So I, I did stay pretty focused. Uh, I, I think I might have done um, one extra meal two different days, and I uh, I did have a bite of birthday cake and ice cream. You know, I mean, I like a couple bites of it, so. I might have had a couple of drinks, but I, one of the things I did face out was, so, was specifically alcohol. It's not like I'm a bit, big drinker anyway, but but mm -hmm. I do know I, I loved your video on the benefits of alcohol. That was so funny. I had, and also the cheat day with Karen with the big uh, the big uh, mm -hmm. the, the big uh, uh, hatchet she had in her hand. That was funny. That's one mm -hmm. of the great things I love about your videos. You do have a great sense of humor, and it's uh, very very easy to watch. And uh, I, I do appreciate. Uh, Appreciate how you frame all those, but uh, but the way you know, the, how I handle that, Doctor Berg, uh, just like uh, on my most recent trip um, to Texas to see a group of high school friends, you know, I um, um, I do stay very focused on my eating. I might eat a little bit more than I normally do on my one meal a day, and uh, there might be, a, you know, if I have a cold beer or something like that. Like I said, it's just uh, I might have one. But the way I handle that, when I get back home, I go back to my normal one meal a day eating. And then after two days of eating my back on my process, I'll do a 48 hour fast. And usually boom, that resets me and I'm back on the train. But, uh, but that first day after going off my program, if I incorporate, if I have a, if I'm especially eating out, because I eat out every, every meal when I'm traveling and there's always going to be let's face it, garbage in the food that they serve you, even no matter how careful you are. But, uh, um, but it does that, that first day back, I mean, you definitely feel the effect of that not eating properly. And, uh, but that's how I do it. I do two days. <clears throat> I stay steadfast and like I normally eat. And then I do a 48 hour and that usually just snaps it right out. I'm back in the back in back in play again. Well, I can tell you've been watching my videos because you're doing <laughs> all that you're doing these applying all these different things. Every one or two. Yeah, right. That's great. What about um, like um, through the period of time? Uh, I think it's uh, you're down 95 pounds right now. Total. Yeah. But 
um, was it was it is it always consistent you lose this much weight per week or is it kind of like you lose more and then less and then nothing and then more and then less and then what how did it go with your losing weight well, you know, my first four months, I, I took it off pretty quickly. And uh, I, I always incorporate uh, activity into into my game plan. Now, for, of course, at first, I mean, that, that was like 12 minutes, 12 minutes of, of walking on the treadmill. And then I kind of went up to doing the rowing machine. And then then I, as, as I got healthier, because it really, I mean, it was great that I was losing the weight, but it was more about feeling good and being healthy because I know with good health comes the weight loss. So I did lose more weight at first because let's face it, I was 313 pounds. I am six foot four. And so we you carry it. I said, yeah, I carry it, but I'm a whole lot. I mean, I have this jacket I wear that I bought a couple of years ago. And I mean, I put it on now and, and it's just like, I wrap it around. I mean, it, it's just, oh my God, I can't believe that. Uh, I, I just how much I filled that thing out. Uh, over the last couple of months, I've been averaging about 10 pounds per month. And uh, one of the things I don't do, I do not weigh every day. That's, uh, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, I know, I mean, you drink a couple of bottles of water the night before, your weight's going to go up a couple of pounds. I mean, it's, it's, it's yeah. so uh, intense. But I do try to focus in maybe once or twice a month I'll weigh. And, uh, but, uh, but like I said, I mean, I'm extremely happy at the weight I am. I mean, my God, I can walk into a store and I can buy, I'm buying jeans in the thirties. I mean, are you serious? Wow. I mean, wow. <laughs> and, wow. uh, you know, it's so weird because it, it, they feel snug, but it's not, there's nothing like hanging over. I mean, I'm, I'm just, it's wow. just, uh, it's just absolutely mind blowing to me. Uh, to be at that point, because like I said, 20 years ago, I did lose a significant amount of weight uh, through the body of life, uh, body for life. And it was a great time. And but then I, I just put it right back on. That was the whole six mil a day concept. And I said, my God, if I would have only had this education 20 years ago, I mm -hmm. mean, uh, uh, there's, you know, there's 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 people there's women watching this going, wow, uh, that that was my case. I can't seem to lose 10 pounds. Uh, per month. I just want to mention one thing. Yeah. If there's any women watching this, is um, uh, you have um, a situation where men typically have it in the midsection, less than the hips and the thighs, right? Well, the type of fat that is uh, hips, thighs, buttocks is um, is usually more superficial fat versus the fat around the organs in the midsection. And um, the thing to know is that it's a uh, it's less influenced, believe it or not, by this insulin problem. Now, what can we do with that information? Well, if you do the diet, okay, you're going to lose the stomach for sure in this whole thing. But uh, if you have more hip and thigh weight, you, you're going to have to actually add more exercise, especially to get more lean muscle to burn more calories. And that's, that's going to have to be um, more than even someone that doesn't have that weight. Like if you have more hip weight, you're going to have to also add some pretty serious workouts to the point where you, um, you recover, don't ever exercise over recovery, but definitely you're going to have to add that exercise component in there more than anyone else. So I just want to add it in there and then you will see more change, but just to rely just on the diet, you may lose your gut, but you may not lose the hip weight. Um, I also wanted to, for those of you that are watching, um, what would be like the biggest tip that you would tell people or advice if you had to give like one tip, if someone thinking about this, but they're, they're not quite sold on it yet. What, uh, what would you tell them, um, to motivate them to get started? Well, actually, uh, educate yourself, educate yourself on the, on the process and I highly recommend, I mean, your, your YouTube channel is phenomenal. Uh, one of the things I do, if I do have any specific questions, I'll go to YouTube and I'll just, I'll type in my question and put dash Dr. Berg. And the great thing, 99% of the time, there's a video that addresses those specific questions. And uh, one of the things, uh, it's, it's really kind of stay tuned and stay dialed in and really understand your why on why you want to move forward with this, with this health transformation or this lifestyle change for yourself uh, i mean my whole deal was number one um 
look, I'm 57 years old. You know, I certainly, I, I've not been fortunate enough to have a family. And that's something that, you know, in the right situation, that would be something that would just be lovely for myself to, to, to start a family, you know? And that's something that I, that I keep in my back of my mind. But the biggest thing um, um, is when I start my day, I, I do, I really do. I pull up when I get up in the morning, uh, of course, I do my scoop of uh, my scoop of wheatgrass. I do my scoop of uh, 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 um, um, oh my gosh, the um, I totally went blank. I think you, think you you mentioned electrolytes. Electrolytes, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I mean, that's how I start my day every morning. And then I'll, I'll, I'll pull up the, I'll pull up the YouTube channel. Normally by the time, cause I'm on the mountain time, you've already uploaded your video for the day, even though it might not really apply to me a lot. Of, I'll watch it. Cause a lot of times I'll get great tips and tricks on how to stay more dialed in. I mean, this is how I transitioned the way I ate six months ago to the way I eat now. I'm being more dialed in and more conscious. I'm buying organic, the grass-fed, the grass-finished meat, uh, what type of uh, apple cider vinegar, what type of olive oil. I mean, I buy the organic balsamic vinaigrette, you know, and I, I read the labels. And one thing I don't do, Dr. I don't do these, this, all these keto mm -hmm. bars and keto yeah. stuff that's in the stores good i i don't i don't do those i don't do good. those i i mean I, every now and then i'll do a pint of rebel i, I love the rebel okay i mean or or something like that but that's very rare maybe once a month i'll treat myself or do something like that but uh but having that stuff around People think, and then you see all this stuff on Facebook and Instagram, all these reels on the, these keto experts. And all they're doing is showing you how to make snacks. Snack, 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 snack. I mean, what? Uh, hello? <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's, it's actually comical to see all this stuff. I mean, it looks delicious. I mean, if you're going to make so, like a little keto treat, I mean, there's some great ways you can make them yourself, not by the stuff on, on the shelves i mean i, I wouldn't, i'm not going to say garbage but i did mention that word but uh but yeah there's it's it's quite fascinating when you look at this and they put keto on the label people say oh i can buy that well look at the label it will really open your mind and yeah. uh, one of the other things i i don't know if i mentioned this um as far as my my big why you know besides uh wanting a long healthy life is mm. both of my parents were greatly affected by alzheimer's alzheimer's mm. and um, i lost my mom in uh, 2006 and at the young age of 73 years old okay mm. and then my dad he was about to turn 89 this is in 2014 but i i helped care for them uh, both my mother and my father and uh that was very difficult for me to see them go through that and uh, and my sister, uh, my lovely sister Margaret, she's uh, 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 we both experienced that, and she has always been more health minded than myself, and uh, mm -hmm. and it's just so wonderful uh, catching up and chatting with her, and she just loves seeing my journey, and I I have so much support from my friends, and uh, mm -hmm. I have a tremendous amount of friends that uh, I'm lucky enough to uh, develop some tremendous relationships over the last thirty five years, and and my sales and consulting and speaking. Um, and uh, it's just so nice to, to see such encouragement uh, through my transformation. And luckily, I, another great thing about it, it's uh, apparently I've, I've inspired a whole lot of people. I love hearing people's progress. My friend AJ down in uh, Florida and Chris, uh, a high school buddy of mine, uh, they reached out and they asked me and I just said, well, this is what works for me. And this is how I found out how to do this. And a lot of times if they have questions, I'll just Google Dr. Berg and just put it in there and I'll send them the video to help them be on track. So, uh, but it's, uh, but that's, that's awesome. as far as, yeah, that's uh, uh, one of the videos. I mean, uh, the keto basics, how to supercharge your prolonged fasting. I love that video. Uh, any, but any time, and by the way, when I do those 48 or 72 hours, which I try to do at least one 72 hour a month, and I've done that for the last couple months. Uh, I'll watch the videos the day before I plan on doing that. And then the next morning, I'll watch that video every single morning to really help me stay focused and on track on the reason I'm doing it. I'm not doing this to lose additional weight. I'm doing it for the health benefit. Well, I have to say, Bar, you're definitely the epitome of the what I'm trying to do with people, get, give them the right tools, and you're applying everything that I'm telling you. So well done, very well done. 
proud of you. Great job. I think it, you're going to inspire a lot of people from this video. So, um, so I do want to thank you for your time and going over this because people are going to definitely, you know, there's probably a lot of people are just going to get started just because they want to lose weight too. And now you kind of made it, broke it down. So it's easy for them. So anyway, I appreciate your time and, um, uh, we'll have to do a, a post video when you get down to 150. I'm just being sarcastic. We're not going to go that low. But, There's uh, that humor. I love it. But now I, uh, uh, now I, I appreciate, uh, I appreciate taking the time to speak to me. And uh, you know, one of the, I, I have a really uh, a big service mentality, and this is one of the things I really enjoy. Uh, about sharing my uh, my transformation and my and my updates. I usually do a little post on Facebook every two weeks and it's not the pitch or any sell anything. I and mean, you see so much of that in this industry and in the health industry. It's just, it's just really disturbing sometimes to see that. And, uh, but I do that to, in the fact that there, there is a solution, uh, no matter how old you are or what your health level is. I mean, you know, 57 years old, I was, you know, plus over 300. And, uh, you know, if you kind of follow the, follow the, plan and uh, educate yourself and stay focused uh, it can certainly happen to you even when you hit those soft spots the yeah. uh, uh the what are the, the barriers and then that's when you you can just push through those stay consistent and do not give up exactly well thank you so much i appreciate your time and this is great i think uh, you're going to help a lot of people from just telling your story this is awesome thank you dr berg it's been a pleasure and i look forward to the update awesome all right. Have a great day. You too.